gang, this is Azuni Cube. You are watching Scalp Beauty TV. I just realized that I say that in every single tutorial. Now, you know, if you watch these tutorials a lot, you're probably sitting there saying, saying it with me, okay? Um, I'll try and, you know, think of ways to introduce myself a little bit differently next time, okay? But anyways, uh, welcome to our um, tutorial of the week okay now this look is from x factor now if you're on my twitter you would have read that i did tweet whilst watching the sunday show the live final um not the live final the results that i loved kelly Rowland's look and i was going to you know show you guys how it's done i liked this look because it is firstly wearable secondly it's very very popular because it's the smoky look and thirdly it's got a little bit of a difference in it there's a splash of color which has been introduced into it okay now this is what i want to show you guys how to do because i think this look could be quite popular okay so um and it's easy so you know you don't have to be a professional to do it you could be anyone you know so i'm gonna show you how to do this look very very quickly and um hopefully easily let me know what you think um if you guys do do this look and you use different color because you use pinks and stuff as well because that look quite pretty post them on our facebook fan page or tweet us and you know let us see and think because i'd you know i'd love to i'd love to see what you guys get out of it okay now um yeah learn how to do this look watch on right okay so i have primed my eye and um groomed my brows okay so um we're going to start off with a highlighter first and get that out of the way um and then we're going to work on the rest of it i'm using the sculpt beauty artist palette and the color that we're going to use for our highlighter is this color right down here which is like a um it's like a light nude color um cream to be honest so we're going to use that. You don't have to use that as a highlighter. You can actually use any highlighter that you wish. If you want to go for more of a silvery tone, you can. If you want to go for more of a goldy tone, you can. And, you know, so on. Okay, so get that on your highlighter brush. And I'm going to apply this on my arch first. And then my inner brow. And then I'm going to bring this colour down like that maybe apply a little bit more now when you're doing a look like this it is nice if your highlighter has a bit of a shimmer on it so um it just stands out a little bit and you can go back there and uh, go over it later if you want okay now i'm going to start off with my um we're going to start off with the base of our smoky eye okay now i've shown you this a smoky eye similar to this before and you guys should know how to do a traditional smoky eye by by now okay because i've done it so many times but this is I've, I've changed this up a little bit just to give you something a little bit different to what we've already done okay now i'm going to be using the sculpt beauty gy line this is in 05 i think this is royal blue i will write in the description box below just to double check the color but this is 05 now this is like a metallic navy blue it's actually a really really pretty color now i'm going to use this as the base of my smoky eye usually i would use say a black um you know to cap to catch the to catch the uh, shadow as well but i want this to have a little bit more of a two-toned effect so i'm going to use this blue now i only got a few glimpses of this look when i was watching x factor okay um and i couldn't find any close-ups online either so i'm going by what i've seen and from from what i've seen okay so um yeah and i i, I think this is a nice way to do this look as well okay so i've got an angle brush and what i'm doing is just applying this eyeliner on my eyelid I'm creating this shape and what I've done is I've just gone up to my crease line now if you're going to create a smoky look and you're going to whether it's using a base color or not um, you know the best way of doing it is working to your crease line you know some people are like oh I look like a panda or you know I look like a, 
a drag queen or you know whatever <laughs> you know it's um it's because you've gone a bit ott with the with the, the smokiness okay so just go up to your crease line and you'll find that you won't actually have that much of a problem okay now i'm going to bring this underneath like seal i really like this blue color i think it's really pretty and you can actually do this with um any of the other colors as well okay so we've got that there it doesn't matter if it's not perfect it's all going to be blended in there you go right so that's that now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our blue all right artist palette again now i'm going to be using the blues on the end over here and the blues that i'm going to use is this one down here i might mix it in with a little bit of that now the great thing about these palettes is um that the colors you get like shimmery colors in there as well like a metallic shimmer okay so i'm going to use the metallic shimmer blue for um this look and on top of the eyeliner they really you know come out well and i'm patting this on the inner corner and look how pretty they come up such a pretty look kelly ronan really carries these looks off these makeup looks off really well and though i've been saying that i'm going to be doing it i an X Factor look. I haven't actually done one yet. Um, so I really apologise about that. You know, we are trying to change that. I am trying to change that. But I do want to do something, um, you know, that you haven't... Which you, which you could kind of wear in, like, the festive season as well. Um, I am meaning to do the whole look with the, with the feathers or the design down going on here. I might actually do that as a blog this week as well um because i'm not getting a chance to do that and i saw this look and i just thought this look is going to appeal so much more to so many people out there because it's so pretty and everyone loves the smoky look the, i speak to so many people who are like yeah you know what i just go for smoky and yeah smoky's lovely but you want to be able to do um a little more than just smoky okay Right, so, I'm going to go into my black. Now, this is just a matte black that I'm using from my palette. And we're going to apply this over the um, eyeliner, over the base of your eye. And we're just going to work this into our crease line. Now, the reason why we work this into our crease line is because it actually softens um everything up you know the, the it doesn't make it makes the look a lot less harsh and very likely i'm going in the inner corner because we're going to apply some purple there so we don't want to go in too hard okay and then you take off the excess and work your color into your highlighter okay now as you can see i'm not going in too much i don't want it to be too too dark and smoky i just want it to be light and pretty okay now you could move on to a smaller brush if you want some definition but what we're going to do is going to get this black and work it underneath like seal and just make sure that it's nice and clean from the edges and nice and dark like you want it okay i'm just going to go over with my highlighter brush just to smooth that out now the last thing what we're going to do with the eyeshadow is i've got some purple uh, or violet um mineral pigment okay now i'm using mineral pigment because it is quite intense but also because it's quite light so it kind of 
um, I want I want the purple not to be so blatant. I want it to have just like a natural, like uh, I just want it seeping through when it hits the light. Okay, so mineral pigments are really good to do with that because though they they're quite intensive, and you can really work with intensifying that color. You can actually use them with like a soft shimmer as well and to create a two tone effect. And anyway, I've got that on my brush and I'm just swooping it over my blue going into my black just above my crease line there. I love this look it's so pretty there you go if you feel that you've lost the blue just apply that a little bit more and there that's it really that's our eyeshadow done now what we're going to do is we're going to do our eyeliner. So Sculpt Beauty Gel Eyeline. Get that on your brush. You might want to use another brush, eyeliner brush, because you used the first one for blue. And get this in your waterline, firstly. There you go. And then we're going to get this, apply this above your waterline there you go and maybe a little bit underneath but not a lot because I still want the blue to be prominent. Right, done that. Now we're going to go back into our black and we're going to smooth this over because we are creating that smoky look. And then we're going to do the same underneath. And that's it really. That's our eyes done. Now, eyelashes are a must if you're creating celebrity looks because you're not going to see a celebrity without eyelashes okay so i'm going to apply eyelashes and this is the finished look on this eye here but i'm going to put that applied in the other eye and come back the rest of my makeup is quite you know um semi-natural i've used kind of nudie type tones okay so um let me go and apply my other eyelash and then i'll come back and show you the finished look okay so i've got my eyelash on and i have did um, this look I hope I have shown you how simple it is to create such a pretty smoky eyed look with a little bit of a difference okay so you know smoky eyes is probably one of our favorite looks well it is definitely one of my favorite looks and this is a nice way just to change it up a little bit you know if you're wearing a bright colored top or whatnot and you still want to go for the smoky eyes waves boosting the look up um, and I think Kelly Rowland did it absolutely beautiful okay um now this is my finished look i hope you guys liked it if you did like it and you're watching this on youtube there is a like button down here somewhere down here somewhere right so click like leave your feedback below i do read it when i get a chance to or you know um if it's a request someone does pass it over to me so i do make the effort of having a look and i do actually pick up on what you're actually saying and, and I, I, I do take criticism on board as well so you know it's great if you could do that if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel there's a subscribe button down here somewhere okay i think it's down here it's usually down here okay um subscribe to the channel guys we're the first people to get all the tutorials the updates the video blogs on what we're doing and if you are lucky enough to have an iphone sculpt beauty have a an iPhone app and it's our revolutionary iPhone app um, which you will get tutorials straight to your phone and the video blogs and access to the shop Twitter and the social networks it's absolutely free on Apple App Store so make sure you get that if you haven't already we do we are actually revamping it in the next month or so and we have got some great new features coming out for you as well making it more interactive than it already is okay now speaking of interaction if you are on the social networks um join our social network facebook.com forward slash sculpt beauty and twitter.com forward slash sculpt beauty okay um what else do i need to tell you if you want to get a hold of any of the products that i've used i have listed them in the description box below Okay, so just down here, there should be an arrow, just click it and the description box appears, 
okay now i've put all the links there of the social networks the items i've used and direct links to where you can buy them from sculptbeauty.com forward slash shop okay is where you will see all the mineral pigments the eyeshadow palettes the brushes a lot of people ask me about brushes okay i use our own brushes sculpt beauty brushes okay and they're great and that's what i use in every single tutorial the jaw line you know uh, you know everything that you could possibly need the eyelashes even okay skullbeauty.com forward slash shop and we deliver worldwide okay so wherever you are in the world you can get our products straight to your door okay um that's it for now i'm gonna be coming back at you with some christmas tutorials okay christmas that time's coming um and i'm gonna get my thinking cap on with regards to some creative ideas for christmas if you guys have some Christmas requests that you want me to do something a little bit themed, let me know. You know, leave the feedback below this video or send us a tweet or, you know, even on our Facebook fan page, wall, which is the easiest way of doing it. Let us know, post your pictures on that and, you know, um, I will try my very best to do as many as I can. Okay, that's it for today. My name is Riku. You're watching Scott Beauty TV and I will see you again very, very soon. See you.